All right, okay, so now what I've done is I've pressed the slice button. And you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, like modes and stuff down here. So if we, we can use this thing up here or, or on my mouse down here, what I want to do is I want to go on to detect mode is probably my favorite. And then the sensitivity, you can decide where you want it. And basically you see the chops are moving around. All right, so I need to turn this up again now so you all can hear it. Yeah. Do you know what it's chopping on? Like the sensitivity? It's, um, <laughs> it's pretty much set on transients. Yeah. So like where music thinks it changes into something else, but you don't have to use that at all. You can completely change these things yourself wherever you like. Uh, it's probably not like, this is not how like a proper producer would normally do it. They would, they would spend hours and hours like refining the sample jobs. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not a guy that's really used an MPC much, but I think it would probably drive me mad using an MPC, how long it takes to chop a sample and all that kind of stuff. I, I, I went to uh, I went to ACM and they had uh, Frank L Shockley came for, from uh, Public Enemy. Uh -huh. He'd tell us how he, he used to make tracks with punch in, punch out on a tape machine and stuff like that. And yeah. He was like, you guys have got it so good these days. <laughs> and that was like 15 years ago. So now the, the things you can do with machines are crazy. Mm. Um, all right, so basically I'm gonna apply my chops. But I might just add in slightly less chops because it feels like they benefit from a bit less than that. All right, somewhere around there. I'm gonna apply that and it will put in a pattern to begin with, but I'm gonna just clear it just by pressing shift and clear. So now what I'll do is, I think it's probably just gonna be pretty quiet from the off. I'm gonna just add in um, just a compressor. I'm gonna add in some reverb. Bring that down a bit probably. Have a hole. What I can do is I can uh, just play the track and I can start to see whether it fits in and whether I need to change the pitch or anything like that or where, where I can play my chops basically. Uh, and I've got it at a minute to pattern length two, but I'm gonna change that to a pattern length four as well, you see there. So what I said right at the beginning of the day is it, um, <coughs> someone asked me if you had a pattern that was one bar long does that kind of like repeat it? It's going to repeat four times, basically. It's going to play the longest pattern length, yeah. and then it's going to repeat whatever else is in there to, to snap it twice or once or whatever. So I'm just going to play it four, four bars across. Mm -hmm. 